Harley says torque is up 10% between 3,000 and 6,000 RPM when compared to the Revolution Max 1250 engine in the Pan America. Perhaps the best compliment we can give the Sportster S is that we didn't walk away from the test missing the old Sportster. There will always be comparisons to that platform, sure, but Harley-Davidson has done well to make the Sportster S excel in ways the old bike never could. This Sportster has the potential to work for more people of different riding skill and experience, as the performance potential is so much higher than any Sportster that came before it. Mind you, performance and a more expansive electronics package comes at a cost. MSRP for the 2023 Sportster S is $16,399, a $2,900 premium over the entry level but still costly Nightster, which is priced at $13,499. You can't help but feel like Harley-Davidson is ignoring potential new riders with this high barrier to entry. For reference, MSRP for the 2021 Iron 1200 was just 9999 with the upgraded 48 at 11459 The other concern is in how much the limited rear travel impacts the experience. This is a genuinely impressive platform in terms of engine and handling, but that matters very little if the only thing your lower back remembers is every pothole you pummeled through on your way up to the canyons. Perhaps this would matter less if we hadn't been teased with the Bronx, which would almost certainly offer all of the same performance as the Sportster S, but in a platform with sport bike-like suspension that would be more suitable to the spirited riding that the Sportster S encourages. Those who are willing to sacrifice a little comfort for a traditional cruiser stance will be rewarded with a fully modern bike that's a balance between style and performance but that person must place more value on power and technology because that is what defines the modern Sportster. They knew Sportster S is a natural competitor to bikes like the BMW R9T, the Triumph Bonneville Bobber, and the Indian Scout.